planet Earth, the city Tokyo. Like all cities on the face of this planet, Tokyo is losing the battle against man's deadliest enemies, waste and pollution. Despite the efforts of local and world government, the air, the sea and the land may soon lose their ability to support life of any kind. Who will help? Spectre Man. That's a nice talking head. <laughs> nice talking head. Here you are, Dad. Lunch. Uh, thank you, son. Well, it's time to hit the road. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Look where you're going, you fools! My life's clean jacket, you'll pay for this. Here we are, Dad. Okay, son. So long. So long. Be good and study hard. You drive carefully and don't drink too much beer after work. You watch your tongue, young man. <laughs> Jacket, wait till I get my hands on you. Okay, okay, I hear you. You don't have to sit on the horn. Well, stop. Okay, that's good. Yeah, it's okay there. Now unhook that side for me. Right. Thanks. All right, that's it. Uh, keep it moving. I think you got it. Easy does it. There she goes. <laughs> ah, faithful Carlos. So you brought me a specimen from Earth for me to use my experience this time. Yes, Master. A truck driver. Voila. Yes, he looks very strong and very stupid indeed. Strong and stupid. Excellent for your purposes. A perfect choice, wouldn't you yes. say so, sir? I commend you, Karas. Take him to the lab at once.
see all that I have wrought. Karras? Karras, where are you? Look upon my works. Behold my power. <laughs> How mighty am I. Let's see. <laughs> That's the girl. No, I don't want to see her ugly face. I want to see the girl. I want to see the girl. I'll switch you off. I'm the master here. Nobody trifles with me. So many buttons. Let's see. Try this one. <laughs> oh, oh, what a horrible creature I think I'm going to face. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, 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 get away, get away. Oh, 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 as if your father were in some danger. I'm so worried. Just like a woman. You got nothing to worry about. I suppose you're right. It's just that I love your father so. It's okay. He'll be all right. father so late tonight. Probably stayed to have a drink with the guys, that's all. Well, the least he could have done was call. He knows how worried I am when he's late. I think the thing that you should do now is to try to go to bed. Oh. 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 
Mrs. Okada, phone call. It's Dad. Hello, Dad. You really hung one on tonight, huh? You're probably still with the guys. What? You're not Dad. You're his boss? Well, I'm sure he'll be there. Well, I'll tell him when he gets here. Contaminated air around here is no longer fit to breathe. Well, I agree. If the factories would suspend operation, it would help a little. But they're not about to shut down and lose any money. Listen, can't we do something? As scientists, we can only collect information and give our findings to the authorities. It's not easy, I know. We can only hope that one day, everyone will be alerted to this pollution danger and something will be done about it to eliminate the causes. Look, once and for all. over there. Heavy load he's got there for a young lad. He's going to throw that muck in the bay. No, he wouldn't do that. Well, I'll make sure that he won't. Hold no, it. let me. Here, hold this. Oh, I'll go. Ah. He always has to play the hero. Huh. He must have a Spectre Man complex. Father? Father, where are you? Hey, Dad? I brought you some garbage. Why don't you answer me? Why don't you answer me? You sleeping? Please answer. What was that? It sounded just like a little boy. Sounds like he's in trouble. You're right. End of the car, everyone. Let's go, quick. One of Gore's monstrosities. Specter Man, the creature you see before you in the warehouse was created by Dr. Gorey, as you surmised. From our observations, we believe that this creature stores up energy by feeding on garbage and waste. He is another instrument to be used against mankind in Gorey's insane plan to dominate the planet Earth. The monster must be destroyed before he grows too powerful and endangers the lives of the Earth's people. You have your orders, Specter Man. You know what you must do. Go quickly and destroy this devilish creation before his energies become too powerful. Ready. I'll obey your orders to the letter. Did you see that? It went in there. Yeah. Hey, kid, you know anything about that creature in there, do you? Leave him alone, Otto. Can't you see he's scared to death? Oh, you're right. Uh, strange. It couldn't be. Couldn't be what? I know it sounds strange, but there's something about him that reminds me of my pop. Hey, over here. Hey, Chief, when you look at this, I just don't believe it. He ate the garbage in the cart, too. He'll still be around here. Be careful. He could be anywhere. Listen, Otto, you get on to the police right away. You, John, yeah. take the boy to a safe place and see if he knows anything. Go on. OK, Chief, come on, let's go. Me. We'll stand guard here until the police arrive. Right. He's trapped inside that door, and we must see that he doesn't get out, or he could destroy hundreds of lives. Right. Oh, watch it! Look! The roof! Stop! Get away! Inside the car! Spectre Man, there's no time to waste. The creature has grown enormous and has absorbed enough energy through man's stupidity 
to exterminate an entire country. Take care of him immediately. Ready. You can see how dangerous this giant abomination is. Destroy him at once, Spectre Man. I will. The Pollution Squad. They must be trapped in the car. Spectre Man, listen to me. Your friends must wait. The creature is heading for the garbage dump at the harbor. You must stop him before he can feed again and grow even more powerful. The fate of millions depend on you. Do not delay. Go at once. Hurry, Spectre Man. The creature is already a formidable opponent. You may not be able to handle him if he grows any stronger. Uh, look at that glorious creature. I was angry with you, Carlos, when you released him before he had his full strength. Yes. But look at him now. He is strong enough to destroy the world. Spectre Man, once again you have disobeyed our orders. While you dally to release the car, that terrible creature has reached the harbor. You know what that means. You may be too late to stop his extraordinary power from being used against the world. It will mean a decisive victory for Dr. Gorey. There may still be a chance, however. Take it, lest you incur our wrath. seen that warehouse coming down on us. Mm. The rock's falling. Ah! 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 It keeps on growing. Ah! I just can't believe it. Ah! Look, Spectre Man. Oh, he's brave to tackle a creature like that. I don't know the way it looks to me. He doesn't have a chance. He's just got to make it.
Will Spectre Man kill the garbage-eating monster and earn the hatred of a little boy? Even if he learns that the monster is Teddy's father, can he avoid destroying him? Or is the monster already so powerful that nothing will stop it? Has Dr. Gorey found the ultimate weapon in the creature that feeds and grows on pollution? Is Earth finally doomed to enslavement by the ape man and his warrior companion? Watch the astounding conclusion in the next episode of Spectre Man.